With a brand value of $51 billion in 2020, Louis Vuitton is today the number one luxury brand in the world. A symbol of status and wealth, Louis Vuitton was founded in 1854, in France. Now the brand operates in 50 countries worldwide. Famous for its high-quality luxury products, did Louis Vuitton embrace innovation to create better products for its customers? Let's find out. In the 19th century, travel trunks were different than they are now. They had rounded tops to allow for water to run off and keep the owner's belongings from getting wet. However, the round top travel trunks had a big inconvenience. They couldn't stack. At the time, Louis Vuitton had just opened his first shop in Paris after finishing a 17-year apprenticeship. He became a trunk master at 33 and introduced his first innovation. Looking to help his customers travel in style, he designed a flat-top travel trunk. It was a revolutionary product, lighter, waterproof and stackable thus more easily transported. His customers loved the new Louis Vuitton design, which catapulted the brand into the spotlight. It was the birth of modern luggage. Did you know Louis Vuitton's largest market is Asia, driving 34% of the brand's revenue for 2020? Despite the global restrictions imposed on retailers in the fight against the pandemic, Louis Vuitton sales have seen a surprising surge in China, particularly in online sales. Louis Vuitton opened its first store in China in 1992, in Beijing. Now the brand is looking to take its business further and leverage China's booming online shopping market. To this end, Louis Vuitton announced in April 2021 a partnership with JD.com, the Chinese e-commerce giant which has three times more users than Amazon. When searching for Louis Vuitton items on the JD app, Chinese shoppers will be redirected to the brand's WeChat site to conclude the transaction. Louis Vuitton trunks were sturdy, functional and convenient. Unfortunately, because they stood out among the rest of the trunks, they often attracted burglars. This prompted Georges, Louis' son, to come up with a solution which would protect the customer's belongings. He invented an ingenious locking system. The lock was so effective, that Georges challenged Harry Houdini, the famous escape artist, to break free from a Vuitton trunk. Known for staging high-risk performances, this time however, Houdini didn't rise to the challenge. After years of development, the locking system created by Georges Vuitton, which is still used today, proved revolutionary, making the Vuitton trunks impossible to be picked by burglars. Did you know that every trunk is delivered to its owner with a key number engraved on the brass lock? The number is specific to the customer and allows its owner to recreate a key in case of loss. Louis Vuitton was among the first luxury brands to launch a mobile app. The brand's app invites users to experience a virtual world where Louis Vuitton advertising campaigns are brought to life. By scanning the campaign images that feature the app's icon in magazines and elsewhere, Users are presented with a dedicated space showcasing exclusive content and featured products from the campaign. One of the app's features, the LV Finder, is a search tool based on product recognition technology. The user takes a photo of a women's or a men's bag and LV Finder presents the user with a selection of suggested Louis Vuitton products. If you're wondering what is the most expensive Louis Vuitton bag ever sold in a store, we have the answer. It's the special edition of Pumpkin Minordier by artist Yayoi Kasama. The pumpkin-shaped clutch is embellished with Kasama's trademark dots and was priced at $133,000. Frequent flyers are often worried whether their luggage will make it onto the airport baggage carousel at their destination. To put their customer's mind at ease, the brand designed the Horizon Connected Luggage Collection. The items in this collection are fitted with a geolocation device which connects with the Louis Vuitton app. The customer can track the Horizon luggage on the app's map and get notified about its location. 
Did you know Louis Vuitton created a travel bag for Hollywood actress Audrey Hepburn? In 1965, Audrey asked Vuitton to design a small bag that she could carry regularly. The brand obliged and designed the Speedy 25. The bag was perfect for Audrey and she loved it. Today Speedy 25 is one of the brand's signature handbags. Canvas of the future is Louis Vuitton's 2020 line of handbags that aims to break the limits between handbags and smartphones. The handbags in this collection are embedded with flexible ammo lead screens. The screen connect to the smartphone, so the owner of this innovative handbag can control what appears on the screen. Here's another fact that you might not know. Louis Vuitton never hosts sales. Discounted prices are not part of the brand's sales strategy. Customers can purchase the French high-quality luxury products in Louis Vuitton stores and through its official website. According to the latest estimations, luxury brands stand to lose $30 billion due to online sales of fake goods. As you probably imagine, the most counterfeited brand in the world is Louis Vuitton. The company has been looking into a way to limit sales of fake Louis Vuittons for many years with little success. Why are there so many fake Louis Vuitton handbags? Unfortunately, the brand's timeless style, the quality that attracts customers is the same that attracts counterfeiters. Aided by the fact Louis Vuitton has changed relatively little since its inception, counterfeiters had more time to develop near-perfect replicas. But that's about to change. In April 2021, Louis Vuitton in partnership with Cartier and Prada unveiled Aura, the first luxury global blockchain platform. The platform is designed to tackle counterfeit goods and enhance luxury customer experience. The Aura blockchain makes it possible for consumers to access product history and proof of authenticity of luxury goods. Did you know the brand's parent company is LVMH? LVMH is short for Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy and is the world's largest and most valuable luxury goods conglomerate. The conglomerate came to be in 1987 when Louis Vuitton merged with Champagne and Cognac producer Moet Hennessy. In the following years, LVMH acquired over 70 brands including some of the most famous in fashion, beauty and cosmetics, such as Sephora, Dior, Givenchy, Lancome and Marc Jacobs. The latest brand acquired by the Louis Vuitton conglomerate was Tiffany, the iconic American jewelry chain, for an estimated $16 billion. There you have it. Six ways in which luxury brand Louis Vuitton has made innovation one of its core values throughout its history. What innovation should Louis Vuitton come up with next? Let us know in the comments.